Okay, so here I am getting ready to put these pieces together here. This one and this one. Really, the, the what you need to clean off these are pretty amazing. Looks like there's a little bit more you need to clean off there. It's really pretty amazing what little there is to clean off, so that's cool. There's little nubs here, I'll get that. But here's my concern. This one's not too bad, it's a whole body. That's when I start having to do the arms. Gosh, sorry about that. So here they are beforehand. And I'm going to shut it off so I can trim it and put this on. And I kind of also uh, scored here to get more gripping space for the glue. We'll see what happens. Well, there he is. Somehow that doesn't look right. Maybe he's sneaking? I don't know. It was okay. It was a little, it was a little wonky, but it slipped together okay. But still, time to do it. Metal, I wouldn't have to do that. But I also got 130 guys for the same price as for the same price as about 60. So yeah, I'm a cheap. Well, you know what? Okay, here's another one. That has to go on that. I'll be back. Okay, there you go. You can see, definitely see where the arm is. Now, if you know me, I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm going to paint it. Whoa, let's get back on there. You can see where the arm is. I mean, it seems to kind of fit where it's supposed to. Like, I could kind of feel it, like, not snapping into place, but almost. But anyway, there it is together. If I move quickly, well, you can't even tell. But I mean, really, if you're up here, you can't tell. I'm calling it quits. I'm um, I'm calling it quits tonight. It is way late slash early, so I'm going to base them in twos. That'll work with command decision. And I ain't been shot, Mom. And BKC can do anything. So looking at what I've got, I'm not sure this is going to come out. Out of each uh, sprue, I have four stands of rifles, two single stands, two light machine guns, one firing, one walking, two figs each, three stands of submachine guns, one single stand, and one leader with a submachine gun. Then I have two NCOs slash junior officers and one senior officer. And there are two, like, is it two or three? Two attaches, or whatever you want to call them. Um, that's probably not the right word, but the woman with the bag and the guy with the bag. Not sure how I'll use those, but the leaders. So if I have five stands, so anyway, you look at the total for the whole box, it'll be 20 stands, 10 singles, 10 light machine guns, 16 stands of submachine guns, 3 singles, 5 submachine gun leaders, 10 NCOs. So anyway, kind of ignore all this. So that's about 5 stands per, per platoon. Um, also I could do a 5 NCO officer with 5 singles. Because in command decision, they have command infantry stands. But that would still allow me to have some pure command stands as well. And I could also use an officer. Uh, i got some weird numbers here, though, that i got to figure out. Submachine gun, if I make 16 stands, that would give me four, four stand platoons, because eight guys, according to... Um, the supplement of <sighs> I ain't been shot mom that I have of four stands each platoon gosh is that right no that's not right four stands a squad and I would have four squads so I'd have one platoon and an extra squad okay 
one of my leaders could be solo, and then two of my leaders could be with two soldiers and just two single leaders. Maybe my big men. I'm thinking I could also use the attaches with a couple leaders to kind of make them big, big men. I kind of have to work through this a little bit more. I'm going to try these Gale Force 9 bases. I mean, Jerry uses smaller bases than these, and he's using thicker, bulkier people. I'm going to try it with this group, this lot. I will probably, since they're so thick, I'll probably paint the sides a color to give me my codes when I if I use this thick paper here Jer again Jerry uses like really thin cardboard for his so I think gosh I could use this stuff I mean his stuff works great and he uses that and I could use this and this would be work this is called Letraset I got it from an old job I had anyway if I use that I would label it like this so at the corner, it would be a color, so everything would be the same color, in a corner, and then a number, or dots. I'm not sure how that all works. Like, the color could be the battalion, the corner could be the company, and the number could be the platoon, or vice versa. I don't know. Anyway, thinking through that. So, this has probably been somewhat confusing, but... Um, There they are before they get painted. See ya.